BRCA2, Wikipedia article audio. 1N0W, 3U7. NM000059. Function. Clinical significance. NM0010810001, NM009765. NP000050, NP0010744700, NP033895, BRCA2 and BRCA2 are a human gene and its protein product, respectively. The official symbol and the official name are maintained by the Hugo Gene Nomenclature Committee. One alternative symbol, FANCT1, recognizes its association with the FANC protein complex. Orthologs, styled BRCA2 and BRCA2, are common in other mammal species. BRCA2 is a human tumor suppressor gene, found in all humans, its protein, also called by the synonym breast cancer type 2 susceptibility protein is responsible for repairing DNA. BRCA2 and BRCA1 are normally expressed in the cells of breast and other tissue, where they help repair damaged DNA or destroy cells if DNA cannot be repaired. They are involved in the repair of chromosomal damage with an important role in the error-free repair of DNA double-strand breaks. If BRCA1 or BRCA2 itself is damaged by a BRCA mutation, damaged DNA is not repaired properly, and this increases the risk for breast cancer. BRCA1 and BRCA2 have been described as breast cancer susceptibility genes and breast cancer susceptibility proteins. The predominant allele has a normal tumor suppressive function whereas high penetrance mutations in these genes cause a loss of tumor suppressive function, which correlates with an increased risk of breast cancer. History The BRCA2 gene is located on the long arm of chromosome 13 at position 12.3. The human reference BRCA2 gene contains 27 exons, and the cDNA has 10,254 base pairs coding for a protein of 3,418 amino acids. The gene was first cloned by scientists at Myriad Genetics, Endo Recherche, Inc., HSC Research and Development Limited Partnership and the University of Pennsylvania. Germline BRCA2 Mutations and Founder Effect Methods to diagnose the likelihood of a patient with mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2 getting cancer were covered by patents owned or controlled by Myriad Genetics. Myriad's business model of exclusively offering the diagnostic test led from Myriad's beginnings as a startup in 1994 to its being a publicly traded company with 1,200 employees and about $500 million in annual revenue in 2012. It also led to controversy over high test prices and the unavailability of second opinions from other diagnostic labs which in turn led to the landmark Association for Molecular Pathology v. Myriad Genetics Lawsuit Although the structures of the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes are very different, at least some functions are interrelated. The proteins made by both genes are essential for repairing damaged DNA. BRCA2 binds the single-strand DNA and directly interacts with the recombinase RAD51 to stimulate strand invasion, a vital step of homologous recombination. The localization of RAD51 to the DNA double-strand break requires the formation of the BRCA1-PALB2-BRCA2 complex. PALB2 can function synergistically with a BRCA2 chimera to further promote strand invasion.
These breaks can be caused by natural and medical radiation or other environmental exposures, but also occur when chromosomes exchange genetic material during a special type of cell division that creates sperm and eggs. Double strand breaks are also generated during repair of DNA cross links. By repairing DNA, these proteins play a role in maintaining the stability of the human genome and prevent dangerous gene rearrangements that can lead to hematologic and other cancers. BRCA2 has been shown to possess a crucial role in protection from the MRE11-dependent nucleolytic degradation of the reversed forks that are forming during DNA replication fork stalling. Meiosis like BRCA1, BRCA2 probably regulates the activity of other genes and plays a critical role in embryo development. BRC repeat sequences Certain variations of the BRCA2 gene increase risks for breast cancer as part of a hereditary breast ovarian cancer syndrome. Researchers have identified hundreds of mutations in the BRCA2 gene many of which cause an increased risk of cancer. BRCA2 mutations are usually insertions or deletions of a small number of DNA base pairs in the gene. As a result of these mutations, the protein product of the BRCA2 gene is abnormal, and does not function properly. Researchers believe that the defective BRCA2 protein is unable to fix DNA damage that occurs throughout the genome. As a result, there is an increase in mutations due to error-prone translesion synthesis past unrepaired DNA damage, and some of these mutations can cause cells to divide in an uncontrolled way and form a tumor. Neurogenesis People who have two mutated copies of the BRCA2 gene have one type of Fanconi anemia. This condition is caused by extremely reduced levels of the BRCA2 protein in cells, which allows the accumulation of damaged DNA. Patients with Fanconi anemia are prone to several types of leukemia, solid tumors, particularly of the head, neck, skin, and reproductive organs and bone marrow suppression. Women having inherited a defective BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene have risks for breast and ovarian cancer that are so high and seem so selective that many mutation carriers choose to have prophylactic surgery. There has been much conjecture to explain such apparently striking tissue specificity. Major determinants of where BRCA1 and BRCA2-associated hereditary cancers occur are related to tissue specificity of the cancer pathogen, the agent that causes chronic inflammation, or the carcinogen. The target tissue may have receptors for the pathogen, become selectively exposed to carcinogens in an infectious process. An innate genomic deficit impairs normal responses and exacerbates the susceptibility to disease in organ targets. This theory also fits data for several tumor suppressors beyond BRCA1 or BRCA2. A major advantage of this model is that it suggests there are some options in addition to prophylactic surgery. In addition to breast cancer in men and women, Mutations in BRCA2 also lead to an increased risk of ovarian, fallopian tube, prostate, and pancreatic cancers, as well as malignant melanoma. In some studies, mutations in the central part of the gene have been associated with a higher risk of ovarian cancer and a lower risk of prostate cancer than mutations in other parts of the gene. Several other types of cancer have also been seen in certain families with BRCA2 mutations. Epigenetic Control of BRCA2 In general, strongly inherited gene mutations account for only 5-10% to of breast cancer cases, the specific risk of getting breast or other cancer for anyone carrying a BRCA2 mutation depends on many factors. 
All germline BRCA2 mutations identified to date have been inherited, suggesting the possibility of a large founder effect in which a certain mutation is common to a well-defined population group and can theoretically be traced back to a common ancestor. Given the complexity of mutation screening for BRCA2, these common mutations may simplify the methods required for mutation screening in certain populations. Analysis of mutations that occur with high frequency also permits the study of their clinical expression. A striking example of a founder mutation is found in Iceland, where a single BRCA2 mutation accounts for virtually all breast-slash-ovarian cancer families. This frame shift mutation leads to a highly truncated protein product. In a large study examining hundreds of cancer and control individuals, this 999DEL5 mutation was found in 0.6% of the general population. Of note, while 72% of patients who were found to be carriers had a moderate or strong family history of breast cancer, 28% had little or no family history of the disease. This strongly suggests the presence of modifying genes that affect the phenotypic expression of this mutation, or possibly the interaction of the BRCA2 mutation with environmental factors. Additional examples of founder mutations in BRCA2 are given in the table below. In the plant Arabidopsis thaliana, Loss of the BRCA2 homologue at BRCA2 causes severe defects in both male meiosis and in the development of the female gametocyte. At BRCA2 protein is required for proper localization of the synaptonemal complex protein ATZYP1 and the recominuses ATRAD51 and ATDMC1. Furthermore, at BRCA2 is required for proper meiotic synapsis. Thus at BRCA2 is likely important for meiotic recombination. It appears that at BRCA2 acts during meiosis to control the single-strand invasion steps mediated by ATRAD51 and ATDMC1 occurring during meiotic homologous recombinational repair of DNA damages. Homologs of BRCA2 are also essential for meiosis in the fungus Eustilagomates, the worm Sonorabditis elegans, and the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster. Mice that produce truncated versions of BRCA2 are viable but sterile. BRCA2 mutant rats have a phenotype of growth inhibition and sterility in both sexes. Aspermatogenesis in these mutant rats is due to a failure of homologous chromosome synapsis during meiosis. BRCA2 Expression in Cancer DMC1 is a meiosis-specific homologue of RAD51 that mediates strand exchange during homologous recombinational repair. DMC1 promotes the formation of DNA strand invasion products between homologous DNA molecules. Human DMC1 interacts directly with each of a series of repeat sequences in the BRCA2 protein that stimulate joint molecule formation by DMC1. BRC repeats conform to a motif consisting of a sequence of about 35 highly conserved amino acids that are present at least once in all BRCA2-like proteins. The BRCA2-BRC repeats stimulate joint molecule formation by promoting the interaction of single-stranded DNA with DMC1. The SSDNA complexed with DMC1 can pair with homologous SSDNA from another chromosome during the synopsis stage of meiosis to form a joint molecule, a central step in homologous recombination. Thus the BRC repeat sequences of BRCA2 appear to play a key role in recombinational repair of DNA damages during meiotic recombination. Interactions Overall, it appears that homologous recombination during meiosis functions to repair DNA damages, 
and that BRCA2 plays a key role in performing this function. BRCA2 is required in the mouse for neurogenesis and suppression of medulloblastoma. BRCA2 loss profoundly affects neurogenesis, particularly during embryonic and postnatal neural development. These neurological defects arise from DNA damage. Epigenetic alterations in expression of BRCA2 are very frequent in sporadic cancers while mutations in BRCA2 are rarely found. In non-small cell lung cancer, BRCA2 is epigenetically repressed by hypermethylation of the promoter. In this case, promoter hypermethylation is significantly associated with low mRNA expression and low protein expression but not with loss of heterozygosity of the gene. Domain Architecture Patents, Enforcement, Litigation, and Controversy In sporadic ovarian cancer, an opposite effect is found. BRCA2 promoter and 5-UTR regions have relatively few or no methylated CPG dinucleotides in the tumor DNA compared with that of non-tumor DNA, and a significant correlation is found between hypomethylation and a three-fold overexpression of BRCA2. This indicates that hypomethylation of the BRCA2 promoter and 5-UTR regions leads to overexpression of BRCA2 mRNA. One report indicated some epigenetic control of BRCA2 expression by the MICR ORNAS MIR 146A and MIR 148A. In eukaryotes, BRCA2 protein has an important role in homologous recombinational repair. In mice and humans, BRCA2 primarily mediates orderly assembly of RAD51 on single-stranded DNA, the form that is active for homologous pairing and strand invasion. BRCA2 also redirects RAD51 from double-stranded DNA and prevents dissociation from SSDNA. In addition, the four paralogs of RAD51, consisting of RAD51b, RAD51C, RAD51D, XRCC2 form a complex called the BCDX2 complex. This complex participates in RAD51 recruitment or stabilization at damage sites. The BCDX2 complex appears to act by facilitating the assembly or stability of the RAD51 nucleoprotein filament. RAD51 catalyses strand transfer between a broken sequence and its undamaged homologue to allow resynthesis of the damaged region. Some studies of cancers report overexpressed BRCA2 whereas other studies report underexpression of BRCA2. At least two reports found overexpression in some sporadic breast tumors and underexpression in other sporadic breast tumors. Many cancers have epigenetic deficiencies in various DNA repair genes. These repair deficiencies likely cause increased unrepaired DNA damages. The overexpression of BRCA2 seen in many cancers may reflect compensatory BRCA2 overexpression and increased homologous recombinational repair to at least partially deal with such excess DNA damages. Igawa et al. suggest that increased expression of BRCA2 can be explained by the genomic instability frequently seen in cancers, which induces BRCA2 mRNA expression due to an increased need for BRCA2 for DNA repair. Underexpression of BRCA2 would itself lead to increased unrepaired DNA damages. Replication errors past these damages would lead to increased mutations and cancer. BRCA2 has been shown to interact with. BRCA2 contains a number of 39 amino acid repeats that are critical for binding to RAD51 and resistance to methyl methane sulfonate treatment. The BRCA2 helical domain adopts a helical structure 
consisting of a four helix cluster core and two successive beta hairpins. An approximately 50 amino acid segment that contains four short helices, meanders around the surface of the core structure. In BRCA2, the alpha-9 and alpha-10 helices pack with the BRCA2 OB1 domain through van der Waals contacts involving hydrophobic and aromatic residues, and also through side chain and backbone hydrogen bonds. This domain binds the 70 amino acid DSS1 protein, which was originally identified as one of three genes that map to a 1.5 MB locus deleted in an inherited developmental malformation syndrome. The BRCA OB1 domain assumes an OB fold, which consists of a highly curved five-stranded beta sheet that closes on itself to form a beta barrel. OB1 has a shallow groove formed by one face of the curved sheet and is demarcated by two loops, one between beta 1 and beta 2 and another between beta 4 and beta 5, which allows for weak single-strand DNA binding. The domain also binds the 70 amino acid DSS1 protein. The BRCA OB3 domain assumes an OB fold which consists of a highly curved five-stranded beta sheet that closes on itself to form a beta barrel. OB3 has a pronounced groove formed by one face of the curved sheet and is demarcated by two loops, one between beta 1 and beta 2 and another between beta 4 and beta 5, which allows for strong SSDNA binding. The tower domain adopts a secondary structure consisting of a pair of long, antiparallel alpha helices that support a three-helix bundle at their end. The 3HB contains a helix-turn helix motif and is similar to the DNA binding domains of the bacterial site-specific recominuses, and of eukaryotic MYB and homeodomain transcription factors. The tower domain has an important role in the tumor suppressor function of BRCA2, and is essential for appropriate binding of BRCA2 to DNA. A patent application for the isolated BRCA1 gene and cancer cancer promoting mutations, as well as methods to diagnose the likelihood of getting breast cancer, was filed by the University of Utah, National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences and Myriad Genetics in 1994, over the next year. Myriad, in collaboration with other investigators, isolated and sequenced the BRCA2 gene and identified relevant mutations, and the first BRCA2 patent was filed in the U.S. by Myriad and the other institutions in 1995. Myriad is the exclusive licensee of these patents and has enforced them in the U.S. against clinical diagnostic labs. This business model led from Myriad being a startup in 1994 to being a publicly traded company with 1,200 employees and about $500 million in annual revenue in 2012. It also led to controversy over high prices and the inability to get second opinions from other diagnostic labs, which in turn led to the landmark Association for Molecular Pathology v. Myriad Genetics Lawsuit The patents begin to expire in 2014. According to an article published in the journal, Genetic Medicine, in 2010, the patent story outside the United States is more complicated. For example, patents have been obtained but the patents are being ignored by provincial health systems in Canada. In Australia and the UK, Myriad's licensee permitted use by health systems, but announced a change of plans in August 2008. Only a single mutation has been patented in Myriad's lone European-wide patent, although some patents remain under review of an opposition proceeding. In effect, the United States is the only jurisdiction where Myriad's strong patent position has conferred sole provide status. Peter Meldrum, CEO of Myriad Genetics, 
has acknowledged that Myriad has other competitive advantages that may make such enforcement unnecessary in Europe. Legal decisions surrounding the BRCA1 and BRCA2 patents will affect the field of genetic testing in general. In June 2013, in Association for Molecular Pathology v. Myriad Genetics, the U.S. Supreme Court unanimously ruled that, a naturally occurring DNA segment is a product of nature and not patent eligible merely because it has been isolated, invalidating Myriad's patents on the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. However, the court also held that manipulation of a gene to create something not found in nature could still be eligible for patent protection. The Federal Court of Australia came to the opposite conclusion, upholding the validity of an Australian Myriad Genetics patent over the BRCA1 gene in February 2013, but this decision is being appealed and the appeal will include consideration of the US Supreme Court ruling. This article incorporates text from the public domain PFM and Interpro IPR 002093. This article incorporates text from the public domain PFM and Interpro IPR 015252. This article incorporates text from the public domain PFM and Interpro IPR 015187. This article incorporates text from the public domain PFM and Interpro IPR 015205.